It's 6.01 and we get, need to get you up to speed with your weather. Yeah, the high country waking up to fresh snow this morning. Jimmy Q, Ooh. any more snow, rain? A lot more forecast? snow on the way and even more rain that's going to be coming uh, all across the state. This El Nino pattern is just moving right ahead. But uh, here's what we can expect out there right now. Look at that. I love that. Huh? Look at these wow. uh, pictures coming in. Christina sent this one in. Oh, more snow across that region here. This is great up across the high country. We'll take that any days. And more is going to continue. Uh, more low pressure coming in from the West Coast. Los Angeles, California is going to get hit hard. We have advisories already, travel advisories. This is going to be for the Flagstaff area for Tuesday and for Wednesday. Travel could be on the tricky side for those areas. Any area above 6,500 feet. A couple of sprinkles around for today, but the heavier stuff will roll in by tomorrow. Vanessa, hopefully uh, traffic's rolling in pretty good right now. Yeah, things are moving along well at 6.01 this morning. There are no accidents to report, but we do have traffic building up in the West Valley, and that's on the I-10 heading east as you approach 83rd Avenue. It's moving at 25 miles per hour, and then it eases up after 75th Avenue. You're back to the green zone. We also see traffic on Grand near Indian School and the Peoria area. Some traffic building up in the downtown Phoenix area on the I-10 heading east as you get closer to 7th Avenue, and then the East Valley on the I-10 heading west as you approach Chandler, you're going to start to hit some traffic there, but it eases up as you continue on the 10 and it's back to green as you get to the 60. I'll keep you updated if any accidents pop up and I'll give you a look at our future cast coming up in my full report. Emma. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Vanessa. Developing new details in the investigation into Hacienda Healthcare after a woman in a vegetative state gave birth just a few weeks ago. This morning, we're now learning that former Maricopa County attorney Rick Romley will lead an internal investigation. Team 12's Jen Wall joins us now from the Live Alert Center with more details in this I-Team report. Good morning, Jen. Yeah, good morning to you both. So the Hacienda Board saying Rick Romley will have complete access to every area of Hacienda's business to get to the bottom of this disturbing case. Now, this is not the first time an agency has turned to Romley for legal assistance. He was also brought in for internal investigation of Mesa police in use of force cases. So he does have experience in these kinds of situations. Also this morning, we want to take you back to that day when the baby was born. We have the chilling 911 calls this morning from inside of Hacienda, an on duty nurse making the frantic emergency call. Her voice revealing she's in complete disbelief of what she's watching unfold right in front of her. A helpless woman who cannot move, communicate, giving birth at Hacienda Healthcare. They're all in complete shock and surprised. The nurse says over and over again while on the phone with 911, they say they had no idea this woman was pregnant. And one of the most heart stopping parts of the call when you hear the condition of the baby boy during his first few moments of life. You had a baby. What a baby. Look, at, there's a baby right there. Someone just had a baby. One of our patients just had a baby, and we just had no idea she was pregnant. Okay, is the baby we are not out? Prepared for that. Baby's turning blue. We need someone now. And more than four minutes after that 911 call, we hear the nurse say the baby is breathing. So now the investigation continues to find the sexual assault suspect. Phoenix Police is asking if you know anything to contact them or silent witness. For now, we're live in the Alert Center, Jen Wall, Today in AZ. I mean, you're right, Jen. It does sound like they're in total disbelief. Our, our 12 News I team will continue the search for answers in this case. If you have any tips about it, Email your information to our tip line. You can see it right there. It's connect at 12news.com. You can also reach out to us on Facebook or on Twitter. 6.05 is your time. Let's take a look at what else is making headlines this morning. The Valley will remember fallen officer Clayton Townsend this week. Now Townsend, Assault River police officer, was hit and killed by a man who admitted to texting and driving last week. Tonight there will be a visitation in Scottsdale, first for law enforcement and close friends, then a public visitation at night. Then on Tuesday there will be a procession from Tempe to Christ Church of the Valley in Peoria for his memorial service. Governor Doug Ducey will deliver his first state of the state address of his second term later on today. He is expected to lay out his legislative and budget priorities for the year, including addressing the state's looming water crisis, as well as education funding. The speech begins at 2 p.m. and you can bet we'll have it covered for you. It's day 24 of what is now the longest government shutdown in U.S. history. Democrats and President Trump still haven't come to an agreement as the president is refusing to sign anything that doesn't include funding for a border wall. No negotiations are planned as lawmakers get back to work today. 
St. Mary's Food Bank is doing its part to help federal employees in Arizona feeling the effects of that government shutdown. This morning, they're holding a mobile pantry distribution for TSA workers that begins at 11 a.m. right at the TSA offices. Remember the border wall GoFundMe page started by a veteran? Well, despite raising an impressive $20 million, the page did not hit its goal of $1 billion. So everyone who donated will get their money back or they can choose to shift that money to his new nonprofit. It's called We Build the Wall, Inc. Under his plan, segments of the wall would be privately constructed through negotiations with landowners along the border. You want Pretty wild. That's a record for them. Insane. Go fund me to do that much money. Insane amount. Old Man Winter delivering a record setting winter storm across the Midwest. Ooh, I got a brother in St. Louis and boy, did they have fun this weekend. It is the most snow they have seen in the region in more than two years. The heavy snow knocking out power to thousands. At the worst, more than 200,000 people in Virginia and North Carolina were without power. And that nasty weather, of course, grounded flights. More than 600 of them were canceled Sunday with more than 1,000 delayed. Take a look at the Flight Aware's misery map right now. More than 100 delays and dozens of cancellations. Another snowstorm is on its way, so if you're traveling this week, please check your flight status. Are you ready to say, oh, cute? There it is. Oh, <laughs> Producer Hillerman <laughs> said it. <laughs> Look at all those cute babies. The Phoenix Fire Department welcomed 42 babies in 2018. Yes, 42. That's a lot. So they just had to capture it on camera. All of them laying on their parents' fire gear. You can see some roll out. Those are the, the older babies. <laughs> Each and every one of these babies have either a mom, a dad, or even both parents who are active firefighters for the city of Phoenix. Something has got to be in the water. That is so clever. I love that they shared that with everybody on social media. babies? I know. Busy, wow. busy crews. Fire crews were busy overnight. <laughs> All right. Check